Hi there. Welcome to the Healthy Church Staff Podcast. You have joined me, Todd Rhodes, your host. I'm one of the co-founders over at chemistrystaffing.com. This week, we're taking a look on the podcast about future stability and talking about, as staff members, how long will you stay? How, If you're in charge of staff, how long will your ch- staff stay at your church? And this is all coming out of the survey that we did, our Healthy Church Staff Assessment that we did last year. We're in the middle of doing one this year. I'll give you a little bit more information on that here in a second. But last year, we gave a statement that we gave to everybody that filled out our Healthy Church Staff Assessment which was a little over 1,000 people, between 1,000 and 1,100 people. And this is the statement that we gave them and asked them to reply to. If offered a similar position at another church, I would consider the opportunity. And really, that's what we want to talk about today, is understanding why employees might be open to other opportunities is really crucial for fostering a loyal, committed, and satisfied workplace. So what did we find? What were the findings from this? The results revealed that About 44%, 43.5% of staff agreed that they would consider a position elsewhere. About 16% agreed, 27% strongly agreed. But on the other hand, about 41% disagreed, 26% disagreeing, 15% strongly disagreeing. Okay, that's a lot of numbers. What does this mean? It means that about, it's split, right? About 44% would say, yeah, I would look at another role, about 41, 42% said, no, I would not look. But it's really striking to see it's almost an even split between those that are open to moving on and those that are committed to staying. And we talked about this a little bit yesterday. But what this suggests is that while many staff are satisfied with their current roles, there's still a significant portion that's willing to explore other opportunities at other churches. So let's talk about that just for a second. Let's talk about on those that agree that they would consider a similar role. Now, that could be for any number of reasons. It could be a desire for career growth. It could be, uh, we talked about this yesterday, a better compensation package. It could be improved work-life balance. It could be maybe a preference for a different culture, a church culture. It could be that they want to move back closer to to their parents or move back closer to their grandparents. Any number of reasons are possible for why candidates would be open to other ideas. But it's also worth note-taking that about 27% strongly agreed with the statement. And that suggests a strong inclination towards exploring new opportunities, perhaps due to maybe some significant dissatisfaction with their current role. I would say in our work with candidates, it's about split as to the real reason, and sometimes you have to dig down really deep to get to the real reason as to why somebody is looking for for a new church staff role. But I would say it's almost a uh, kind of evenly distributed, positively and negatively. On the positive side, yeah, you do have people that are looking for new opportunities, ways to be challenged, even the, the getting back closer to family, That's that could be a positive thing. And then there are the negative things. Hey, the, I don't feel respected. My compensation is low. I've got theological differences with the church I'm at. So there are all different reasons for why people are looking to leave. But let's look at reasons why they would say that I'm not, the 40, almost 42% disagreed with that statement, indicating that they have a really strong commitment at staying in their current positions. It, it could be because of high job satisfaction. It could be a sense of loyalty to the church or the community. It could be a deep alignment with the church's mission and value. It could be, hey, this is just geographically, this is home. So we're not going anywhere. So that's about 41%. But there's also 15% that are like right in the middle. They're neutral. The stance could indicate kind of uncertainty about Whether they one day maybe they'd look at other other options, other days they wouldn't. So mixed feelings on their current role. Maybe a wait and see approach. These are the people that that sometimes take three, four, five years to leave, and sometimes they they should leave earlier. They just take a long time to make a decision. These are the neutrals. So if you're, let's talk first of all, if you're the leader of a staff. It's really important that where your staff is, do you have 40% that has one foot out the door that maybe they're just trying to figure out, hey, do I want to stick around? Do I want to go? 
but they're leaning toward, yeah, if I got another opportunity, I'd probably do it. And then you've got another uh, 40% that are like, no, I'm staying. This is my home. I'm not going anywhere. And then you've got the 15% or so that are like right dab in the middle. And those are the people that you can really influence. Again, it goes back to communication. Make sure you communicate well. But you should, as a staff supervisor, as a lead pastor, as an executive pastor, as a team leader, you should know where each, a good leader will know where each person is and have some open discussions about that. So that's what I would do if I was a leadership, in leadership, uh, a team leader. But what if you're a staff member and, and you're like, yeah, nobody's knocking down my door, but yeah, if I had other opportunities, I, I would consider those. And I think that's fine. I think it's always, I think it's always fine to, to search for uh, new opportunities or particularly if somebody gives you a call up and says, hey, I've got this opportunity, what do you think? I think that's there's a part of discernment there that you should look at those things. But what you need to do also is you really need to get on your knees and pray, God, where do you want me? Do you want me here? Do you want me somewhere else? Are there things I'm running from here? Because if I'm running from things here, I'm going to run from things where I go as well. So those are some really hard decisions. Do have a resource. If you'll reach out to me, and you're the staff person, you just, I, boy, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And, and again, I'm in the search business, so I talk with, you're not alone. So let me say that you're not alone. A lot of people are trying to decipher and determine their future. We have a free resource, and uh, here's how I'm going to make it available to you. It's a book called When to Leave. It's by Wade Hodges. It's a free ebook that I'd love to send you. If you're in the middle of the should I stay or should I go, just reach out to me and say, hey, Todd, I send me a free copy of that ebook that you mentioned on the podcast, and I will know which one you're talking about, and I will get it sent out to you right away. You can just send me an email at podcast at chemistry staffing, podcast at chemistry staffing.com, and I will be sure to get that off to you. But it's if you are a staff member trying to determine your future, I think this book would be incredibly helpful to you. If you think that would be helpful, a helpful resource for you, just go ahead and reach out to me. I'll be glad to send that on to you. And continue to listen to the Healthy Church Staff Podcast this week. We're going to continue on our discussions on future stability of staff members in the church. Thanks so much.